Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to integrate, do a line integral along the edge here, along the side of this upside down right circular cone. The equation of the cone, of the surface of the cone, can be defined as the value of z, which is the height above the xy plane, z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, or z is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that defines the surface of this cone. We're going to integrate all around the cone at a, a horizontal path, and the radius of the path will be equal to a. a can be any value. So the circle of the path can be defined as x squared plus y squared equals a squared, and we can use the parametric equations by converting it to theta by saying that x equals a times the cosine of theta and y equals a times the sine of theta. So if we want to find dx and dy, you can say that dy is equal to a times the cosine of theta d theta, and dx with the derivative of cosine is the negative sign, so it would be equal to negative a times the sine uh, times d theta. So notice that along a small little segment ds along that path around the edge of the cone here is can be defined as the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. And since we now replace dx squared and dy squared by what they're equal to in the parametric equations, this can now be written as follows, that ds is equal to the square root of a squared times dx would be the sine square of theta times d theta squared plus a squared times the cosine square of theta times d theta squared, but I can factor out the d theta squared, put it out here, and simply write d theta, and of course I could also factor out an a, which I'll do in just a moment. So now we can say that the area underneath the curve, the path that we're going to travel, that would be, think of a curtain hanging down from the line all the way around the cone, all the way to the x, x, y plane. And it's the area of that curtain that we're going to find by doing this particular line integral. So at least you understand what it is that we'll get, we'll get when we do a line integral. Now we're going to replace z by what z is equal to. So this is equal to the integral around the curve. Uh, instead of z, we're going to write the square root of x squared plus y squared times ds. And now we're going to replace x squared and y squared by what they're equal to over here using the parametric equation. So we'll substitute that in. So this is equal to the integral. Now we're going to integrate from 0 to 2 pi all the way around the circle. The square root of x squared, and x squared is going to be a squared times the cosine square of theta plus y squared, which is a squared times the sine square of theta, the whole thing I need to square root, times ds, and we'll put ds in just a moment. First, let's simplify this, because we can factor out an a squared, and a cosine squared theta plus the sine squared theta is equal to 1, so this simply becomes the square root of a squared, or simply a. So a equals a times ds. Now ds, I still need an integral here from 0 to 2 pi. And ds was defined as this. Now notice, here we have a sine square of theta plus a cosine square of theta, which is equal to 1. And the square root of a squared is simply a, so that would be times a times d theta. Wow, all of a sudden that became a really easy integral. I can pull the a out. So this is equal to a squared times the integral of d theta from 0 to 2 pi. And so this becomes equal to a squared times theta, evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. Whoop, that should be a 2 pi there. And then, of course, that will be equal to 2 pi a times a. Now, why did I write it like that? You'll see in just a moment, 2 pi a squared. Because first of all, the circumference of the line will indeed be 2 pi a. And then if we multiply that times the height, notice since x and y make an angle of 45 degrees, that means the height will be equal to this, this distance right here. So a and the height would be the same. So it's the height multiplied times 2 pi a will give us the total area of that curtain hanging down from the line that we integrated around the cone. Again, a line integral is not simply integrating along a line. A line integral is integrating along the line that's sitting on top of a surface. 
So we multiply the surface times the path length, we integrate around that to get the total value of that integral. And that's what we mean by a line integral.